These are six Webflow clonables that you can clone right now to improve your animations on your website. Now in this video, we're gonna check out some of the best Webflow clonables for animation, specifically just because last video, I made a Webflow clonables video and it did super well. So it seems like you guys really actually like this kind of content. So first one here is a Geospace template. That's the name of this. It's got over 2000 clones. So you know it's gonna be a good one. So first things first, when you scroll over these different panels, you get different news articles or you get different sort of journalistic pieces and you get a small title of whatever that piece is. As soon as you click on it, you get an animation from the right side to the left, which gives you more information about the piece. So you've got octopus punches fish in the head just because it can. Now, I'm not sure if that's a real title, but there you have it. So when you scroll down, you've got different interactions that happen as well. You've got a side scrolling piece. So it looks like a quote. It looks like maybe it's the title of the article. And then as you scroll more, it's got this overlapping parallax effect that is quite easy to achieve. But how would you achieve that? Well, you can go ahead and clone this project right here. I can clone it, give it a name. And when we finally get into the actual clonable, the actual design here, we can see exactly how this is done. So when the mouse clicks on the card or the actual, the actual container that we want to go into, then we can see exactly what happens. There's these different sections here, there's different containers that increases in size. We can see how the elements on the left side or on the right side swoop into the left. So we've got these different cards here. And if we click preview, we can see exactly how that happens. So this is incredibly valuable. Now, maybe you don't want these exact same animations to appear on your website, but it gives you an idea into the mind of someone that creates these websites as a template or as a job or something like that, right? How would they actually do that? Next up on the list, number two here is the AirPods Pro template. Now this isn't the real AirPods website. It's a copy of it, but it shows you how the Apple website works. So if we go ahead and open in Webflow right here, we'll see the X-ray vision of how this website works. So we can go ahead and click into the layer panel here and we'll see everything that is interactable and go ahead and open everything up. And let's go ahead into interactive. Interactions. So while scrolling into view, you go into the settings here and we can see the entire thing, which is amazing. It almost gives you an idea into how Apple would have done this themselves in their backend. But again, this isn't the real thing. This is done by someone else. We can see that this entire animation or the entire thing is just a Lottie animation. So it gives you an idea that as you scroll, all it's doing is really just playing that animation. It's going from zero to 17% in the page and it's playing the animation in full or 93%. With well, that being said, we can kind of imagine Imagine how this is all layered on top of each other. We can see that a lot of this is just Lottie animations and text animations piled on top of each other to create the experience that we know and love from the Apple websites. Now, really quick guys, if you guys want to try out these websites down here, do not forget to check them out into the description because that is where they are going to live for the rest of their lives. So do go ahead and check out the description for these. Next up is Cyboro Protection. Now, let's go ahead and open this in Webflow and I'll show you guys what is so great about this website. Or better yet, I have the real live website right here in front of me. So first things first, the style of this website is very trendy, it's very modern. These gradients are very in style right now, but that's not exactly why I chose this website. The reason why I chose this website is because every single one of these images here throughout the entire website are interactive. So they all hover and they all move depending on where your mouse is and depending where you are on the actual page. If you go ahead and scroll through the site, we'll see that all of the images are actually interactable. And that's not all. If you actually scroll even further, you'll see that we can actually hover above some cards. And when you hover over the buttons themselves, they have this different animation, which turns it from a 3D box looking up to a 3D box looking down. And this is all natively done inside of Webflow. And we can see exactly how it's done right here. So once we're in the actual Webflow clonable here, we can go to the interactions panel, click on the layer that has all of the images. And now we see all the secret sauce of the website. Very similar to one of the last clonables that I showed on this channel, we can see that all of this is mouse X and Y actions, which is fairly easy to achieve. Now, if you've worked with mouse X and Y actions before, you'll know that this isn't this, the hardest thing in the world to do, but to have all these elements individually work with each other to create this entire experience is something that's very commendable. Next up is this gallery clonable. And one of the really cool things about this gallery clonable is something that I haven't seen done with Webflow many times before. So you can use your mouse as you move around to actually scroll through the website on an X and Y axis. So let's see here, as I scroll up or as I just move my mouse up, the canvas actually lifts itself up to reveal some more images. And I've, as I move to the left side, we'll see there's some more images. And as, as I move down, we'll see there's some also <laughs> some more images. And another cool thing about this is that these images actually move individually. So as you can see, the mouse is moving and you can slightly see that this gap here, I'm actually pointing to my screen, but you can't see the gap in between these two images increases or decreases depending on how far away you are from the actual images there, right? Now, something disappointing from this is that you can actually, you can't actually click on these images with this clonable, but I assume that it would be fairly easy if 
we wanted to do it ourselves. So here we are in the clonable and I'm just gonna click on the wrapper that actually includes everything. I'll go into the animation so we can see how it's done. So there's two different components here are two different elements of the animation. There's the inner, which actually defines the canvas, and then there's the image scroll right, and then image scroll left as well. And as we can see, that's all there is to this animation or this experience. It's just a mouse X and Y action, which allows you to move through the canvas in an X and Y action. Now, these last two are very different to the previous ones, but I thought I'd include them as well because they're so different and actually I really, really like them. So first ones first is this direction aware slider. And what this does is it's a simple slider that allows you to move left and right depending on where you want to go. But the thing about this clonable that I actually really enjoy is the fact that there's this magnetic sort of move around. So as your mouse moves around through this image, the text on top and the image in the background also move depending on where you are. And I'm sure that's also going to be a mouse X and Y axis. I haven't actually checked it yet, but the idea where you can actually implement this in your own projects, imagine if you had this for a portfolio, for an image, it attracts the user to actually want to click on the image itself. First time I went on this, I thought I could actually click on this, but just because it's a clonable, then we can't. But having interaction like this, is extremely beneficial as a portfolio or even as an e-commerce something like that because it drags the mouse in and you want to actually click on the image itself. So I've gone into the clonable here and found the interactions that we would actually use and I was actually right. It's just a mouse X and Y interaction or action. So as we can see, it's as simple as when your mouse moves to the right side, well then the image is going to move to the right side. And the same thing with the text, except it'll move more to the right side. It's that simple sort of thought that you need to work with here to be able to achieve this look or to be able to achieve this effect. Now, if I wanted to change this to be a link or something that's clickable, if it was a portfolio or something like that, well, then it would be as easy as changing one of these divs to actually be a link. And as we can see, we do already have that, but maybe it's just not connected. So it would be as easy as just connecting it to a certain page or a certain link if we wanted to, right? It's up to you guys. Now, last up is a clonable that has some really impressive animations as soon as you load into the page. So I'm just gonna reload here. We can see exactly what just happened. So let me reload again, because it's too fast. Let's reload again. So we have many different things happening here and let me just scroll through the first time and we can then go and experience it in the clonable. So these are all different clickables. As I scroll through, this is a simple interaction here. Locked in and then that comes down. So lots to go in here and also peep the green sidebar here, the green scroll bar, very, very nice. So into the clonable we go. So as soon as we're in here, we're gonna wanna go and click into the layer panel and click on one of the layers that has an interaction symbol, just like that one right there. Again, I'm pointing at my screen, but you guys can't actually see it. So we're gonna go ahead and click onto the element trigger and we're gonna see what is behind this madness. So everything here is split up into different div blocks, which is incredible. As I flick through these different elements and these different components of the animation, we can see exactly how the underlying layers actually attribute to the shape and the form of the entire interaction or the entire experience. Another thing that really impressed me from this was the scroll down whenever you clicked on one of these different tags. So let's go ahead and check that out. So here we're in the tab content and let's go ahead and preview that. So we've got two different components here. We've got one, which is the card that moves up and then the images that actually scroll down. And again, we're just gonna click onto these different elements here and see exactly how that's done. So you can see that the height starts at zero and then I'm guessing that when the animation is over, the height is gonna be at 100%. So there's nothing groundbreaking here, right? These are all very simple animations to achieve, except they're all layered on top of each other in a very smart way. And what you can learn from these clonables, even if they're not fully complete and they're not full like templates that you can go out and have this be your entire project, is how to actually think about these animations. Now, whenever I do animations, the first thing that I wanna do is see how other people have done it, because if they've done it in a best way and the best possible way to think about it, then it's gonna save me time. And that's what these clonables essentially are, maybe, hopefully, going to help you do. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you watch the last one about clonables because it also features some great animations and interactions that can help you guys in your projects. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure they like and subscribe and also tell me down below which one was your favorite and if you've actually used any of these before. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.